Now that we've got this sketch made, this is sketch here, um, what I'm going to do first is paint the sky. So you see we've got a big cobalt blue sky, no clouds, and a bit of colour in the horizon, a sort of yellowy, reddish colour. And I'll show you how to mix that up. So I'm going to get a big flat brush, um, this one here, and I'm going to mix up a big wash, and I'm going to mix up a lighter wash for here, and then we'll get started. So I'll just swing the camera around here and let you see the my palette and we'll make a start. So this is the um, cobalt blue here. So I'm just going to mix it up, put some in the palette and I'm going to add some water. I want to take it down to about a 5 value. I don't want it too strong. Now I'm going to just um, take a, a round brush and um, mix up a colour for that um, horizon. So I'm adding a little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of light red and that's far too strong. So I'm just going to put some water in there to take it down to about a, a 2 or a 3 value. Now if you don't know what 2 or 3 value means or a 5 value, um, if you have a look at one of my other um, videos on the channel which will take you through what we call tonal values, it's about strength and depth of the colours. Okay, so now I have the colours mixed up, I'm just going to start on the sky and just go straight across here. Now you've got to move fairly quickly here, um, you don't get time to hang about. Um, so I'm just working my way across, just going to add a little bit more up the top. Coming down and just going to add a little bit of water to this. And now this is where I bring the other colour in. The one that I mixed up before for the, the lighter colour in the distance. Right, it's not too bad. Just going to let that settle. Right, that's fine. Well, the paint um, seems to be dry now. Um, let's zoom back a bit, let me see that. Um, I've just had a quick coffee and a biscuit to let it dry, so it's fine now. So I'm going to work my way down, I'm going to put some colour in here but leave some white bits of, you can see there's snow in the distant hills, so we'll get that layer in and then we'll come down here slightly darker and we'll put that in and we'll do the cabin and that will be about it for the blocking in stage. So. These hills in the distance, the first layer, I'm going to use cobalt blue. In fact, I might just use some of the paint I have in the palette, cobalt blue, and a bit of this uh, yellow ochre. And you see you get a lovely 
<laughs> what, my, what I call and my students have called over the years a dirty greeny blue colour. I don't know where you could buy that in a tube, so um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to move back to the painting now, let you see this, and I'm going to zoom in, so you can see the area. So it's this part up in the top left hand corner. So there is um, a bit of snow here at the bottom, I want to protect that. So I'm just going to leave that bit of white there and uh, then just go up to the side of that mountain. There is snow, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave one or two white bits here as well just to uh, suggest some bits of snow still there. And then as we come up, there's not so much on the the top of the, the mountains in that part. I'm going to just cover this here. What I'm I'm thinking about, I'm thinking a step ahead here, this particular bit that I'm painting, don't be too fussed about it because there's trees in here, remember? You can't see them just now, but if you look back to the original painting at the, the, sorry, the picture at the beginning, you'll see that the, the trees will come into play later on. So I'm just about here now. That's good. And just going to pop it there. So that's that first layer complete and we'll just leave that. What we paint next now is, um, I'll just let you see this, this next layer of uh, hills, mountains that are coming closer, so they will be a slightly darker tone of value. So I'm just going to zoom round and let you see the colours. Now again I'm going to use that um, cobalt blue colour and the yellow ochre and I'm just going to make it stronger so you'll see that um, I haven't added much water to this I want it to be stronger and darker right so let's swing around have a look and see how we get on Right, so I'm going to tackle this bit down. Now, dangerous area here. You, I'm speeding this up a bit for the video, but you, when you're painting, don't go near this at all until this is dry. So I'm going to test it with my finger. That's dry. You make sure you don't paint this part until that's dry because we need to get what we call hard edges. Right, so let's go. Now, I'm going to start here. Now, you might say there's trees in there. Well, there, there is trees. I'm just going to let you see it. But I'll make that colour stronger so that I can paint over this. So don't worry. You just carry on painting along here to get the shape of this particular range of uh, hills or mountains and um, we'll try and make some nice shapes of the top right so here's what I was talking about super hard edges See that bit there? If you painted that when that was wet, it would just merge in and be all over the place. So you would have lost the sharpness. Right, so there's one or two bits of snow here. So I'm just going to leave some bits of white and then carry on. 
again we've got these big trees to paint in so don't worry if you're not exactly happy with your painting just carry on right that'll do this is up there so I'll come round to this bit now just at the top of the uh, the top of the cabin area same again um, just taking it down a bit now there's trees again here now in the picture uh, there's actually another cabin in the background but I've just missed that out that's one of the things I say to my students and I would suggest you follow it as well if you use a painting sorry use a picture as a reference um, that's exactly what it is a reference you don't have to get it exactly I mean you can take things out and put things in as long as you don't try to copy it and get another picture another, you're as well just taking another photograph and you know be happy with that so you don't have to paint everything in that's uh, in the, uh, the, the photograph you're using so I'm just coming down here and just playing about with some of the bits because the trees are there trees are going to be up here so I'm just uh, coming down here to finish this off right I think that'll do right yeah that's fine just yeah that'll do before this um, layer of hills dries what I've done is I've just mixed up a slightly darker version of this colour while it's still wet I'm dropping some bits in just to kind of create a bit of depth so this is super this is wet paint and wet paint so it's wet and wet and you get these super soft edges as opposed to the hard edges right so there are two parts left to fill in now there is the cabin that brownie color and then these big shadow gray shadows so I'm going to mix up the colors get that filled in and that will be part two finished I'm painting the cabin first and I'm using a colour, a brown colour called burnt umber. I'll just swing round and let you see it. This is it here. And um, I've added a little water just to I don't want it too strong. It's about a five again. So now the sunlight is coming from the right hand side coming down here down this way so this part of the cabin the front area will be lighter than that part but I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it all in just now then I can add darker later so I've got that light brown colour it's going nice I'll do nicely as I said, I'm just going to paint it all in and I'll come and uh, add a bit of detail to that later. So, we've got this snowy bit in the front here. So I'm just painting around that. And I'm leaving a bit white here for the snow on the, the cabin on the rooftop now the last part is the shadows um, on the left and the right so I use a blue and a light red colour to 
get the nice warm grey so I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is this cobalt blue again and I'm using this light red colour and it changes that to a lovely there we go, nice warm grey, super. You can use grey, you can buy grey colours, but I just feel some of them are a bit too dark for the snow, so and I've always used this um, and I'm going to carry on. So let's see what it looks like. So there is the big shadow coming in from the right here so I'm going to paint that in and there's some down in the bottom right hand corner suggesting there's trees or something just outside the picture so let's get started I'm going to start off with the ones over on the left hand side so um, we'll see it comes up here and stops about here now again that um, cabin is dry which is good I've got to watch out for that that's that done <coughs> Right, so I'm quickly going to just drop some more in here. And down in the right hand corner, quite the big bits, I'm going to start about here. Again, as I mentioned, you don't have to copy the, um, the picture. I'm just leaving some bits in here. And there's a bit coming over the, this part here. Um, just going to carry that on along there and up to the top there just suggest it's a big tall tree and there we are and there are two bits over there just be careful you don't get carried away and paint all the the white in. That's a disaster if you lose the white. Right, that will do. Just before I get rid of the the grey, I'm going to paint that side of the cabin in. The side that's in the shade. Right, that's that fine. 